Namaskar Sadhguru. Namaskaram. <laughs> and welcome to Dialogue. There are several gurus today, uh, religion guru, health gurus, management guru, gurus, management gurus, consultant gurus. Consultant. There's no entry barrier to become a guru. And then there are stigmatized gurus. So does it make you uncomfortable to be called a guru? Uh, guru is a four-letter word, I understand that. <laughs> so it, it doesn't make you… So, no, no, I'm eight-letter, that's why I'm Sadhguru. What, what, what does Sadhguru mean? Where did you… where did you come up with that? I mean, I who didn't gave come you, up with that. So who gave you that In, in this culture, generally people are aware of this. See, if you go to a Sadhguru, you don't consult him about what the Vedas say. He hasn't read anything. <laughs> He's as ignorant as you. So, if you want to know scriptures, you don't go to him. If you want predictions of stars, you don't go to him. If you want something else, you don't go to him. If you want to know how this one works, you should go to him because that's all he knows. I don't know anything other than I know this piece of life from its origin to its ultimate. Fortunately, every other life is made the same way in its fundamental. That's right. So, I'm only talking about myself, but they're all thinking I'm just addressing their issue. <laughs> Right. So, is there an origin of this uh, title? I mean, uh, it came up from some of your disciples? It's or? just generally started, people started calling me that way. It stuck. R right. It's so, a description, it's not a title. Let me make this clear. It's a description. It, yes. See, if you… if you want to change your glasses, you don't go to an orthopedic, do you? No. Spelling I... is almost same, so right. I'm asking. <laughs> 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 not an obstetrician, <laughs> you right. don't go. Right. You go to an ophthalmologist. Uh -huh. Because is it a title or is it a description? It's a desk if it's a This is just a description. You know, my question to a man who is neither from the past generation and you say you don't even belong to the present generation, um, how do you define success? And is success important? Uh, success is the only thing that's there in life. So between happiness and success, which would you prioritize? Happiness is also success, isn't it? For me, if I tell you that, uh, again, I'm a very... No, no, I'm, I'm trying to say this to you. See... Happiness is... success is a means to happiness, could be? <laughs> no, no, no. Many other things will no, be no, means no. to happiness. No, I am, I'm looking at the word success in a much more... Uh, you know, I would like to know that... Your general definition. way. Yeah. See, right now, if I blow my nose, if there is a bin out there, I would like to throw it so that it drops into it. Nobody is going to give me, uh, you know, a World Cup medal or something for dropping a rolled up <laughs> tissue. But, but if happy. it doesn't go into the bin, I will get up, go there, pick it up, again come and sit here and again throw it. Because every action that we perform, physical, mental, emotional, whatever kind of action we perform, Mm -hmm. Absolutely. The purpose of any action, it's whether it's that. physical, psychological, emotional or that. energetic, whatever we do, we want it to be successful. Then where is the question, is success important? Success is the only thing. And even if you get enlightened, that is such, uh, that is a success. Even uh, if you attain to mukti, that is also success of life, isn't it? And then success leads you to happiness? No. Then? Why do you need happiness when you're successful? No, what is the mindset? Well, how do you feel once you're successful? There's a feeling. See, happiness I'm, is an expression I'm of your feeling. I'm already exuberant and blissed out. Okay, so irrespective, even if you're not successful. No, no. See, when I... <laughs> when I unleash a whole slew of uh, uh, projects, people around me, Sadhguru, so many things, we may not have the bandwidth to do this, what will happen if it doesn't work? See, if it works, it doesn't work. I will live blissfully and die blissfully. Oh, that is brilliant. That even conforms with my formula because but, I put a No, formula. no, let me finish this. But, do you want what you do to work well? Of course you want it to work well, all right? So, fundamentally, people are thinking, if something works, I will be happy. No, if you are genuinely blissful, your body and your brain will work at its best. That is what ensures the activity becomes successful. If you are blissed out, exuberant, still and intoxicated, you are successful with life. Now, your body and your brain will work at its best. Whether you want to hit a ball or throw this paper there, or you want to do some business or some other achievement, for everything your body and your brains have to work well, isn't it? So this is a way of ensuring 
that your body and your brains work well. Will your body work as good as uh, Mr. Bolt's body? Maybe not. Will your brains work as well as uh, whatever else, some instance uh, brains? Maybe not. But you will work at your best. And that's all. Duologue with Parundas featuring Sadhguru Jaggi Vasudev. Streaming on the world's first news OTT, News 9 Plus. Download now.